Good afternoon from New York. Subject today, inner mind communication dealing with the social hierarchical food chain. <clears throat> well, what we what we need to do is understand what I'm talking about right first of all. <laughs> when uh, it's more expensive to live poor, everything costs you more. You pay more than your fair share in uh, in uh, sales tax alone. You know, getting into their other taxes too. Yeah. So, in a sense, though, the work and labor of the poor uh, feed the economy and are the reason that the rich are rich. But, you know, it, it's been said that uh, you can't uh, call out the rich on this, you know. Uh, but you can say everybody should pay their fair share of taxes, okay? No one should be without, a home. there should be, hum you know, to deal with this food chain situation where a lot of people are uh, lesser than, in a sense, where they're the uh, farm animals of the, of, the, of the social hierarchy. And, uh, some are, I don't know, some is worse than that. It's not hypocritical to say that people should pay their fair share. <coughs> it's hard to determine what, the, what that fair share should be. <coughs> so the best way to approach it in a uh, empathetic kind of way, which doesn't dehumanize anybody, <coughs> is to uh, have basic needs fulfilled. Universal health care. Nobody should have to pay for health care. You know, because your pets don't have to pay for health care. People don't, shouldn't have to pay for health care. They shouldn't, they, they should be able to easily afford food and uh, sufficient transportation. And we should be working to make sure that that is a reality and not a pipe dream. The idea that, uh, that we have to uh, tighten our belts um, financially uh, in terms of taxes is no, 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 no. We have the best, in the United States, for instance, we have the best military there is, and a lot of other countries have we're a pretty good military, you know, and th that's paid for by taxes in most cases. Yeah. And uh, they'll say, well, that's not socialism. No. Well, how do you suppose socialist p policy or, or ideas are paid for? Taxes. So, yeah, that's a socialist idea. All right? Quit vilifying socialism. It's not a bad idea at all. The first church ever in, uh, in the book of Acts had everything in common so that nobody would do without. You know, that was considered a fair share. No one should be hungry. Uh, temples uh, in uh, India, uh, a lot of them have the policy that nobody should be hungry within, uh, I think it's uh, three miles of the temple. You know, if you want a love flow going, you know, you have to have empathy for everybody. And for the rich not to care, or the middle class not to care about those who uh, are worse off than they are, 
is not very empathetic. <coughs> and saying to someone, oh, this other group of people have it worse, doesn't make uh, the people making a complaint hypocritical. Sorry, that doesn't fly. No way in any conservative view or liberal view is that right. No, it's not hypocritical. Um, people should have equal opportunity, at the very least. So education should be free. In some countries, it is. You know, now what, what is the, the pay that you have when you don't do these things? It's not very empathetic, this, these, this situation where you allow people to be homeless, even war veterans, come on, should be ashamed. You know, that homeless, children without food, people without hope, yeah, like uh, Clinton said, I believe in a place called Hope. I do too. No one should be without hope. So, yeah, we can be empathetic, but empathy is the duty of everyone, rich, poor, or in between. And uh, that means human rights. You know. You know, you, you, there's some people who are less well taken care of than, uh, than, a, than a horse owned by a rich person. You know? In some cases. Not in all. And of course, they sometimes put down horses, so they don't do that with people. But uh, do they or don't they? When poverty is really severe, then uh, what does the poor person do? Well, they're extremes, and they could be shot for it. And uh, that just, that shouldn't be. You know, that just shouldn't be. The world's not perfect, you know. But if we don't make sure that people have hope and, and these basic uh, needs met, that they can count on, so that they got a floor underneath them, so that they can they can survive. Well, then, be very afraid of the uh, new inventions that are going to get rid of everyday jobs and manual labor. Be very afraid. What are you going to do with all the people who have no job, no hope at all? That way, you probably need to have a basic income that people just get. And it's up to them to take care of it. And, but it's up to society to make sure they're educated enough to do that. You know, it's... This is in no way uh, an extreme idea. It's something as an, a goal and uh, as uh, uh, an intention and uh, a heart that is already being done in smaller countries. Now, it's true that human beings are very tribal. And some of these small countries that are doing this consider everybody uh, family because they don't see anybody different than themselves. And it's harder with a bigger country with more diverse population. It is. But can't you recognize the rest of humanity as your family? You know, just as you do <laughs> those who speak your language or have your religion or your culture. Is it that hard? If someone landed from another planet, they would swear we would have a dime's worth of difference between any of us. You know, I would say, well, that's one group. <laughs> have these little little differences but you know essentially the same group well we are one group 
and how well we treat each other and this planet will very likely determine whether we continue to exist as a species. The universe doesn't owe us anything. We owe it. And we owe this planet. And we owe each other. So let's embrace love. And let's try to get these basic things accomplished. You know, find a way to get there. You're going to find kickback, you know, against this. Um, kickback wrong. Pushback. Push back against these ideas of sure you're gonna the people in their comfort zone are afraid that comfort zone's gonna be threatened. Well, does a person really need five homes in different countries and enough money to buy the government, I ask you. When that happens, what is the difference between that and someone who takes over the country violently and grabs the whole government and has a one-party system that supports them. Well, that is worse, but how much worse is it really? You know, it's we've we've got to do that. And we've got to face up to our you know the times when we were not empathetic at all and quit lifting up people as uh, exemplary who, for instance, owned slaves. I don't care what age or time it was, you know, Bill Maher, you know, he's going to get up and say, oh, wow, uh, well, that was back then, and that was normal back then, and, you know. Yeah, but even back then, there were people kicking, you know, or pushing back against that. You know, it's, there was something down inside people even then that knew it was wrong. You know, they knew it was. The great mystics, they all knew. There was a, a tax to feed the poor uh, in uh, Islam. There was uh, the corners of the field uh, in Judaism to feed the poor. You don't touch those, so that's for the poor to harvest. Um, you know, there was some inkling there of some sense of fairness and empathy even though many of them considered women possessions. Think about that. When, when you hear people say, we should go back to the good old days, I'd like to know when that was. Uh, the further you go back, <laughs> the worse it seems to be. Um, so we're better than we were then, but that's not an excuse to keep trying to get better. And uh, Let's make America better again. Hmm? MABA. <laughs> make America better again, Joe. Joe's doing very practical things in the situation he's in. Are we not smart enough to see that? He's done a great job with what he had to deal with. And boy, did he have a lot to deal with, and still is having a lot to deal with. So, you got the Democrats who are mostly about helping the middle class, and a little bit the poor. And you have the Republicans who say, give it all to the rich. Uh, no government uh, that uh, they don't own or that uh, works against them and uh, let them cheat on their taxes and oh yeah let's let's not do anything about that let's give, let's give let them have all the wealth in the country well that's ridiculous you know a handful of people own 40 percent of the wealth and in some 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 studies worse you know is that fair? Is that empathetic? Especially, and you say, well, what's fair? Again, do you have hungry children? Do you have uh, veterans in the street without a home, without proper health care, or things they suffered fighting for your country? Do you? 
I want you to see every mystic that ever lived looking you in the eye. I want you to see everybody who ever taught love looking you straight in the eye with the truth. We got a long way to go, baby. And uh, that doesn't make us bad. But if we don't do anything about it, that does. That makes us less than what we could be and shine a little less bright than what we could. Make America better again. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what do I mean by that? By better, I mean not the conditions of the past, which uh, in many cases were worse, but the goals of the past. So let's get back to those, those lofty goals. In regard to immigration, we probably have enough room for all these people if we just, you know, ship them out to different locales. But that isn't very practical uh, in some cases. And uh, we have places where we need the labor. You know, oh, great. Here's a pass to citizenship. Here's a labor uh, that we need. Will you do it? You know, give them a chance. But um, razor wire and letting little kids die trying to cross the rivers. Oh dear heavens. You know, that's, that's not right. And uh, even in the, the Bible, uh, you, 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 it was admonished, uh, admonished people to uh, be kind to people um, in, uh, who were foreigners in your land because you were once foreigners in another land. Um, so, all of these things, consider them. Consider them. And vote accordingly. Anyway, as I like to say at the end of uh, <coughs> the presentations I make, which are not edited in any way, just straight up, all the flaws, but with all the heart too. I hope that you can uh, have some opinions about this. Uh, you can uh, make your comments, but uh, I'm not going to put up with trolls. The way to bring down a bad argument is with questions that the person has a hard time answering. Ask me questions. All right? Let's be friendly. And uh, then whatever you say, yeah, I'm not going to take it down. But I'm not going to let the uh, people divert from the main point or um, throw out uh, things that are totally disproven long ago. And, uh, yeah, that's me. And it's my channel. So that's what I'm going to do. If they want to uh, voice those opinions, they can do it in their own channel. But I'm not going to have nonsense on my channel. If I'm proven wrong, I will thank you for it. You know. But I don't think I am. So, uh, if you agree, please follow. And a lot of the point of this channel is to reach out to people who are spiritual but not religious. Who see the problem of, of the divisions of, that religion causes and uh, would like to embrace everybody as their human family and uh, 
have empathy for all with malice toward none. That's the way things should be in our vision for a better America. A better America. Make America better still. Yeah. Because we're already pretty great. But that's no excuse not to get better. You know, oh, you got it so good compared to other countries. Well, let's, let's make it even better. And let's uh, make sure that uh, we do fair trade with some of these other countries so that they can have hope, too. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of jokes, but they're, they're not... Uh, not something I'd want on my channel. <laughs> but you're free to put them in the comments. Eh? <laughs> yeah, anyway, I hope you have a great day. And as I like to say at the end of my videos, namaste. Meaning all the wonder and the hope and the love, potential, and the oneness that we share with this marvelous universe um, and multiverse perhaps um, let's, uh, let's honor that and uh, I would like to honor that in you from that same perspective within me Namaste.